Right. <clears throat> Just checking a few things. Check one, check two. Why can we not see anything here on there? No, that's not right. Uh, stop. Right. Ah, now it's working. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, I tried to be clever and uh, not update my stream settings and then found that we were streaming live with no video feed. Not too clever. Right. OK, let's uh, go over to the chart, shall we? It is now 10.58 a.m. GMT time. And in one minute's time, it looks like we've got some news. Apparently, it's low impact and medium impact. Medium impact. If we have a look behind me there, can you see that? I wonder if I can see. I don't know if you can see my cursor. You can see the thing flashing there. You can't see my cursor, but you can see it flashing. Um, I wonder if I can change that to capture the cursor. Hold on, let's have a look. Properties. Properties. Capture cursor. That will be better. Okay. Yes, now you can see it. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Right, okay, so. We're going to wait to see what's happening here. As we can see, oh, I am going to switch over right now to the charts. Uh, so let me just switch over to there. You're a CHF. We want an M10. Mm. No, we don't want this. It's 57%. No, we don't, definitely don't want. Okay, right. Okay, so let's have a look. Aussie USD. Let's try that instead. And remember, guys, um, if you check the description, you'll be able to see my link in the description on uh, how you go about learning to do this stuff. You get what needs to happen. Ideally, if you really want to do this, you're serious about doing this. You need to click on my link and then register for an account. It, it can be a demo account. It doesn't have to be a real account, a demo account, um, just to get up to speed with it. And once you've registered for a demo account, what I just need you to do is screenshot um, your um, to do like log in to Pocket Options and then screenshot that you're on there. Like for example, if you log in, what you'll do is you'll see like on my one on my screen at the back behind me, I've got um, my balance and I've got my picture here. And if I hover over the picture, um, yeah, it just shows who I well, it shows who I am really. Um, but I'm just trying to find find that uh, yeah I just need to see a screenshot send it to my email address uh, and then I will let you know how we deal with this further um, in fact just trying to have a look here to see what's going on um, but yeah you need to sign up with my link really and remember this is not a get rich quick scheme this is not something that you can do overnight if you've got no experience trading binary options uh it's not something that you can just do i mean yes you can just go in and do it and then you'll end up losing a lot of money so you've got to uh be a bit civilized about this and think right whatever you do always get somebody who knows what they're doing before you go and do it yourself just like that um let's have a look and see when i was learning well when i went on first years ago um i was looking to do something different it's not like i wanted to do binary it's just that i thought oh this looks interesting how do you deal with it and then i was seeing all these other people posting online um uh how much money they're making and stuff like that um and the truth was is uh you, you've, got, you've got to then decide actually is are they making that money or was it just something they're just telling us that um and i thought well the only way to do this is to actually just go in and try it and see but always go in with what you can afford to be without. Don't, if you've got a lot of money in, you know, if you've got your life savings, do not put that stuff into, into this stuff. This is just like a playtime. Okay. It's, it's not um, stuff that you don't mind losing, but hopefully will gain, but you, you just don't know with the markets. Okay. Um, right. Let's have a look. Hmm. Right, you're a JPY. I thought, oh, well, the, the news is now here. So next news is not for the whole hour. Um, I've got to go out shortly. So I'm just going to just trade for about half an hour, 45 minutes and see how we go. Um, let's, what are we looking at? You're a JPY. Where is it? 
Okay, let's look at this. Um, it's getting there. It's just not quite there yet. It's getting there. It's not. It's not hundred percent there yet. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna sit with this one. I'm gonna sit with this one. We're going. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna take that just yet. In fact, we're gonna reduce the amount over here because. It's coming up to a point of resistance, but it can go further. Um, and it's not ready on the other chart that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to wait for a bit. Let's see. No, oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's just not there yet. not quite there it's nearly there okay i'm going to take one here okay it wasn't quite there i'm looking to take three trades okay uh i'm going to take one here i'm going to take one a little higher up i'm going to increase the amount to 10 Alright, right, we're going to wait and see. Now I've deliberately gone in small because when I'm looking at the chart that I'm looking at, um, it, yes it's at points where it should go back and stuff but it's not ideal if that makes sense. So sometimes when, you, when there's an option to take a trade or when there's an opportunity to take a trade but you're not 100% sure if it's going to come true if it's going to come through reduce your stake reduce it um go in but reduce it so that it's minimum loss maximum gain um what i used to do is put the same stake throughout which is also fine if you're only going to go in at certain points and you can stick to that then that's fine but otherwise you might want to uh hold on a second reduce it a bit okay let's have a look eight minutes let's get into that point here Okay, so I've gone in there. Now, it may well be that these two trades don't come through. It may well be. Um, who knows? But we're going to wait and see what happens. And whether we are successful with them or not, it's not a major loss. Okay. Now, there is a point where I will take another trade. But well, it's much, much further up. So right now, what I'm looking to do is I'm expecting or, or I would have thought this will drop back to below here. Now, it's not saying it's going to drop back below there. But what, what happens if it is if it does drop back below there? I'm going to take another five dollar trade to compensate this going up. Um, but right now, I'm just going to just wait and see what happens because it might decide that it'll fly past there and keep going up now. If it does fly past here and keep going up, it's got quite a way to go before I can take another trade. So I'm just going to have to sit there, leave it, and see what happens. And it could well be a small loss, so we don't know. The good thing about this is that everything we do here goes towards the overall trading turnover. And when you hit the overall trading turnover, that's when you can withdraw the bonus. Right now, if I was to try and withdraw all that money that's in my account, what would end up happening is they would deduct the bonus they've given because you haven't hit the um, the target. So, yeah, right, let's just change this up a little bit. Where are we? Is it six minutes? Yeah, let's go here. Hmm. 
it does seem to have a lot of momentum going up here. Yeah, and it's got quite a ways to go. See now, now it's still it's still not quite ready. What I what I'm gonna do, and this is just a calculated risk here. Oh no 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 no! It does seem to be trending a lot. So I'm going to attempt to take some trades up in a moment. <laughs> Five minutes, yeah. No, we want 16 on this. There's a reason I'm doing this. Now, it may well be that I don't actually get this trade in, but we're going to try. Yeah, see, that's flying up now. So it's, there's, there's nothing showing me that it's going to come down right now. Let me have a look at a bit of... Fibo. Yeah, there's nothing really there, is there? Yeah. Okay, let's go M4. Um try it there. Hmm. Okay. Right, okay. Nice need to come down a bit more. Yeah, it does seem to be wanting to come down, but it's taking its time. It's all about tying up the right timing as well. I would have thought this is going to go further up, but it might drop back just enough for me to get in. We're going to wait and see. What we don't want to do is come in here and then end up losing all sorts of trades. This one of these trades have if you're putting if I'm putting in another trade right now, it's got to be one that can possibly have some sort of winning or minimum loss. So we're just trying to wait for that at the moment. It's taking its time. It does seem to like to want to go up though. So I would say today is more of a trend follow day, not reversals. By the way, this is going, it's definitely a trend follow because right now it's, it's coming to a point where it should be going back and it's not. So we're just going to sit tight and wait. But I'm not going to take any more trades going down. Not right now. We're going to go back to our original trade size. So it's got to be looking irresistible. In fact, it is getting to an irresistible point. You know what? What we're going to do, I'm going to go with $10. I want it to go up a little bit further. Right, so these trades, they're lost. There's no point trying to chase these right now. But it is getting to the oversold mark. It's not there yet, it is getting, it's going to keep going. In fact, oh, 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 coming up. 
right i've gone in again with a 10 dollar trade i'm gonna increase this to 20 because even though it's not working for reversals today as such it's now come to the point where I, I, I do like the look of it even though it's going up there's two more points in here we're going to see see what happens now it may just tank all the way down we don't know or it may not hmm let's see What you'll find is at the last possible moment it will decide to <laughs> to go back up. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna because of the way things are today, what I'm gonna do is this uh oh well maybe not. It's, it's, I need that to come back down before I can do that. Uh let's see. Right, so we're, we're just in case we wanted to see how things are panning out today. So I've taken a trade up as well, just in case it decides to keep going, because there is another area where it can get to. So what I'm aiming to do at that particular point is then go a little bit bigger. But we're going to wait and see. So that's a recovery trade, really. Now, it's either going to do one or two things. It's either going to come straight down very shortly or it's going to push up even further if it pushes up even further i'm looking to take a trade down if it doesn't push up any further then i'm going to leave it be we'll see it just seems that it's very very dodgy today and i've been in situations like this before where you think it's going to come down and then it starts to climb and climb and climb and climb and climb and climb and then it just don't come down so this is all where experience comes in a bit like road sense when you're driving um you know you can know how to operate a car uh but you don't get your road sense until you're physically out there on the road with other drivers um understanding or trying to predict what they're going to do because you know i don't know about you guys but when i'm driving i'll be looking at the car in front of the car in front of me to see what that's doing so i get an idea because if i know what that's doing then i know what the car in front of me is most likely to do so here we go so we've hedged that trade but it's not going to be a winning trade it's going to we're going to we're going to probably end up with a small loss but bearing in mind the way how to speed the markets are going at today it's it's one of those things i like to see what's happening i like to give it a go because there's a there's a bigger opportunity much much further up but uh uh, it means waiting around for it. Right, in the meantime, because I don't know if... The, I mean, I, one will come through. If two come through, that's all good, but that's pretty much... That would have been a kind of a bit of a lucky kind of thing. Um... Let's look at the USD Canadian. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, look at a different one. Hmm. No, forget that. That is just no good at all. USD JPY. Have a look at this. No, 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 no. Um, USD, okay, Aussie CHF. See what that's doing. Uh, 
and this is probably not the most ideal time to trade because i mean the reason i came on now and not earlier is because it's good to trade after the news but because there was so much news it i don't like like i said before i don't like trading when there's too much news in short time frames of each other because it just means the market is going to move uh in different directions quite rapidly and you know your trade that would usually come through may not come through because of that reason so oh well, i'm not going to go do that that's that's that uh let's have a look at our aussie chef again uh where's it gone um Aussie CHF. Oh, Euro JPY, sorry, my bad, my bad. Euro JPY. Now, uh, where's that gone? Um, yeah, let's have a look and see what happens here. I'm taking this down because we don't want to make any mistakes i'm just going to have a quick look at uh, the other chart that i look at hmm. now that could be going down let me check something else no i have a feeling that's going to go up you know um I'm going to go to one minute. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here in a moment. Possibly. It just depends on what I'm seeing um, happen here. Yes. We're going to try trend follow in a moment. I'm going to try trend follow in a minute. Now we don't know if this is going to come through. It may well not come through, but I'm overall. I reckon it could go up. So I'm, I'm going to I'm going to just take that up and see what happens. Regardless, if it comes through, it comes through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We just give it a go. Now it could very well drop down here. That's fine. Um, Let's just have a look and see what happens. But you can see how quick your account get your account can get depleted. So even though I'm trading on smaller amounts, you can see how quickly that goes down. Well, we're not going to take any more trades here. Regardless, whatever happens, happens. We'll just see how we go. Now it could just drop all the way down here and take me out of these two trades. Win one, lose two which is not a good uh it's not good but at the end of the day you know that well hey hang on a minute this is not working today this this is the sort of thing i'm talking about when you're um trying to trade and there's really not too much there you can't make a trade happen if it isn't there you kind of just got to sit down and wait um and wait for it to happen now i'm surprised there because i would have thought it would have gone up but uh let's see Let's see what it's going to do. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go? And if it does, it's this is more pretty much a luck of the draw trade because it's, yeah, well, it's a calculated one. But looking at the way the market's going at the moment, there is not, it's never any guarantees on stuff like this. So you've got to just be able to take the hit. This is what I'm talking about, the roundabout and getting hit when things do not work out for you. 
So yeah, we're back up, right? But we're not back up at a lot here. Now I can say I can tell you now that, that this there is nothing happening on the Euro JPY now. It's done. I'm gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna go back up. We look at our closed trades today. We are getting hammered by the market. One, two, three, four, five trades, five one to the market, which is not good. But in the overall scope of things, it's not a grand amount because we've put out what? 10, 20, 25, no, 10, 20, 30, $35 in the grand scheme of things. Um, let's come off that currency now because I don't like it. Um, let's go Aussie USD. Let's have a look. No, nothing. Uh, let me just check, check there's nothing there. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Euro JPY is what we've just been messing about with. USD Canadian. Oh, USD Canadian. Is there something going on here? No, is the answer to that. Uh, let's go back here. No. USD JPY. We'll have a look here. Um, where is the USD JPY? Hmm. It's here, right? Okay. Oh, yes, the USD JPY uh, is getting into position. It's not quite ready yet, but it's getting into position for me. So I'm just going to wait and see how we go. Need to go up a little bit further on that. Yeah, it needs to go up a bit further. Well, let's wait to the next set of news in 34 minutes. It may well be that we just hang on uh, until the next set of news. Because after that, it's, there's no news for another couple of hours. So let's, let's just hang about and see. While we're waiting, I'll just tell you a few things. So yeah, remember when you're doing this, guys, you are not going to win all your trades. Um, I'm not trying to tell you that for the mindset. It's just a fact. It just happens. You can't win all the time. Um, but what you can do is limit your losses. And the way you do that is by when things aren't working, like today, for example, is to make sure that you are willing to let the trades go and then shut down and leave it. Because there are gonna, there's going to be days like this where, you know, no matter what you do, it won't work. I'm going to go in again shortly. Um and see if I can nab a couple more trades. Um, but there's no guarantee that I will be able to. And if my next two trades do not come through, I'm going to stop trading till tomorrow. I'm just going to leave it because it means that things are not running the way they're supposed to. And that means that no matter what you do, you're not going to get a trade. You're not going to be successful. It's, it, you can try all the tricks in the book. Um, it will it'll come down to guesswork. You'll end up starting clicking and doing all sorts of nonsense. And then your account will just go down and down and down and down and down. And if you don't want that to happen, you need to be able to say no. Um, and some people get frustrated because they want to make money quick. You know, they want to make it quick. You can't make money if the money's not there to be made. If it's not there, how are you going to take a trade that isn't there? It's like waiting for a bus. Uh, or trying to get on a bus that is not there. You know, you can't get on a bus unless it's there. So you've got to, uh, you've got to wait. All right, okay. Uh, no, I think that's going to go up higher. We're going to have a look. It is, in a, it is in a position now where I would like to think it's going to come down here. But we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We are going to wait. A little bit longer. A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Let's take one. We're going to take one here. Okay. Um, I'm going to aim to take another one a bit higher up, but I'm going to keep the state the same. Yeah. Have a look.
going to take one there. And then, ultimately, my last trade will be a lot higher up. So we're going to aim for a couple of things here. If it drops down over here, which I'm thinking it should do any minute now, um, I will take some trades up. In the meantime, I'm going to sit and wait and see if it hits the area it's supposed to. If it hits the area it's supposed to, I'm going to take a bigger trade down. If it doesn't hit that area, then I'm not going to take that trade down. It's got to go up much, much further for me to um, take that. Let's have a look. It's properly flying up and there's no reason for it to fly up right now. So it's it's something is is triggering it, but it's not news. So we don't know what it is. So I'm going to wait now. OK, and then we're going to put this back. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I should be thinking this would be dropping right now. Now, if it shoots up even more, then obviously there's something that's not quite right in the market. But there is another point where it's going to come down and that's a bit further up so if it hits the point that it should do if it hits that point i'm going to take it up uh, so i can take it down if it doesn't hit that point right now i'm looking to recover these two trades because what, you, so what i found with this is sometimes right even though it's like it's struggling now it might suddenly shoot up we don't know ideally it's supposed to be going the other way now because it's in a situation where it's kind of oversold. So it should definitely be going down. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. In fact, everything seems to be going one way. This is where if you're a trend follow trader, you'll be making a lot of money. Because the, they say is the trend is your friend, but you need to know when to get in on the trend. So let's see. Certainly taking its time. I don't want to place another trade at all right now because it's not in the position I need it to be in. And nine times out of ten, you put a trade here <coughs> downwards, it's probably going to shoot up. It's just waiting for you. It's toying with you to say, yes, I'm going to go down in a minute. And then it doesn't. It goes up. <laughs> so you need to wait. Although we said, like I said, it's at a point where it should be going back. But there is a lot of upward momentum. Definitely a lot of upward momentum. Right, we want to try and make sure that we're on it if we need to be on it. Yeah. Yeah, see? It's it's doing doing that. It's trying to flag up. So what we're going to do is it's looking like it's reaching for the other point of no return. What I'm going to now do is let's have a look just in case. Let me just prepare myself for this. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So if we take another trade coming up. It's not going to be here. It will, in fact, be a little bit higher up and it's going to be on a longer time frame, i.e. half an hour, believe it or not. And we're going bigger than that. I'm going to take, oh, if it drops here, I'll go back in. Let's see, you ain't like, okay, hold on. Just 
this is where you kind of you're trying to manage your trades when well, no, the way i was taught before is you forget about you you take your trade and you forget about it because if it's going to work out it's going to work out now i agree with that to a point but also agree to sometimes having a look just to see because sometimes if things don't go your way and you're keeping tabs on it you do have an opportunity to correct that oh okay here we go here we go here we go um three four bring that down Okay. All right, should be coming down some more. It's bounced there. I just need it to go underneath here so I can go back up, take one trade up. Come on, keep tanking through. Taking this blimmin' time in it. So we've got two contingencies now. We've got the one half an hour trade coming up if these two don't work. And uh, if they do work, I'm getting ready right now to take a trade before the timer comes out. Comes out. Okay, this looks to me like it's going to be going the other way. We're going to go for a bigger trade. Yes, $30, $30 in my account for a half an hour trade. We're just going to wait on it. It just seems to be very, very slow moving. Very slow moving. It's playing silly, <laughs> silly buggers. All right, okay. In the next news, news in 23 minutes. Okay, yeah, here we go. We are getting ready for that half an hour trade. It's still at 85%. I need to go up a little bit further. A little bit further. No, not yet. It's not exactly where I want it to be, so I'm not taking it. It's gonna be. It's got to reach all my criteria before I take that trade. Now it may well be that it, it drops down now, but if I if I'm not in, I'm not in. That's fine. But you've got to stick to your criteria while you take the trades. It's just taking so long to come back down. So these are no good, they're gone. Forget these. We're out of those trades. But it's getting to that point where it should definitely be going back. So I'm going to sit and wait on it for a moment. Oh, God, it's cold. Um, all right. Oh, it's taking its time, and it definitely taking its time. 
Now there's news, so the news may affect it. Uh, low impact. We're on the USD JPY as well, so I'm in two minds here whether to actually go in or not. Because of the fact that news can affect it and my trading time is going to run into that news. The likelihood is when the news kicks in, it should come down. But let's see. Yeah, see, there's a lot of, there's a, it's a lot of, here we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're going in now. Okay, so this is my goal. I've got one more trade to take and it's going to be after this. Um I am going to take another thirty dollar trade. I'm gonna do a hedge. I'm gonna uh basically we're gonna hedge this. Um not right now though. I'm going to wait for it to come down a lot more than this before I go in again. So we're just going to wait now. Now, $30 is a huge amount of my percentage for this, considering we made quite a bit of a loss anyway. So we need to make sure that after the next trade I take, because it's a large trade, okay, um, for this account, no matter what happens, we are out. Okay, so let us. I'm just going to just get this to go down a bit further. Let it go down. Oh. I think I need my electric blanket. It's too cold. We're going to let it flow down for a little while. What, what I'm expecting to see is this to be dropping a lot more. And then I'm going to hedge it and go up the other way. It's not dropped enough for me to to hit it right now because it would have defeated the object of me taking the trade in the first place so Let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, there's too much time on it. <coughs> See, it hasn't bounced up yet, so... <coughs> It could be reversing. Let's just, let's just, we'll just sit tight on this one. If this doesn't come through and this shoots up past here and keeps going up, regardless, I'm not taking another trade because it just means that the likelihood of it coming down is, it's not going to basically, you're going to end up flying all your money away. So the only time I'm going to start going in with another trade in a moment is if it comes down to around about here uh let's see let's just let's do a uh, horizontal line here there and let us bring in what do we want um let's have a look I'll do it on this chart. I don't like doing it on this chart. A bit. That is a bit. Um, no, okay, hold on. Let me do it on this chart here. Yeah. I need to go further down in that.
Right. Right, we're going up there. Regardless, because what we were aiming to do here is purely to um, safeguard ourselves. So we're going to win a trade either way here. Um, but we've increased our, ri our well, we've decreased our risk of losing um, too much money. Okay, minimise the risk because either way we're going to get fifty-five back, so I'll be back at sixty. Um, and the reason I've done that is purely because I know. That this news is happening in 14 minutes and although it says it's low impact it doesn't always mean that it's going to have a low impact on the market and looking at the way the market's going at the moment is very trendy so it's it has been going a you know one way quite a bit so i've i've decided that yes i am going to take a trade up just in case because when that news hits in 15 minutes this trade will still be functional and it could very well push it back up past here to finish somewhere here or ultimately push me out of this trade in which case i would have made a loss so we're just going to try and use the news to our advantage whether it'll come through or not who knows but we're going to try it and see but that's it after that no more trading now till tomorrow so i've got some stuff to do as well so here we go Let's see what impact the news has. <gasps> oh, okay. oh, it's cold. Oh. And don't forget, guys, this is how you, you know, it's, it's not just about taking the trades. It's about disciplining yourself as well, knowing when the market is not going in your favor and knowing to step out. And that's what I'm going to be doing after this one. Um. We know we're going to get some income coming in. We know that in approximately 22 minutes or so, we're going to have an additional $55 back in our account, uh, which will take up to 760. We could be back up at 810 or more, but we don't know if that's going to happen or not. We've tried for it, but let's see. And all, obviously going over a long, longer time frame doesn't always mean it's better. OK, you have to go on the time frame that seems to be working and to calculate that. Again, that's something that's taught. I can't uh, um, explain it on this just like that. It's something that's taught that if you're in my group, I'll explain how it all works. Hmm. And I think somebody, uh, Danush, uh, emailed me as well now uh saying yes you're ready to trade i need you to send me a screenshot of your account on pocket options just you, you know showing your your name at the top or whatever um and that you've traded that you've opened a demo account on pocket options then i will send you some more details on what you need to do next with regards to the software and stuff like that remember this is not a bot this is not auto auto trading this is you being able to understand why trades are taken which is the bot has certain criteria um what i want to do is teach people to be that criteria, you know be the bot if you like so that you know you can you don't have to have a well, bank on a robot doing or ai doing or, all your trading for you because ultimately when conditions change 
it doesn't mean the AI is going to change as well. And that's when you start losing money. For a while, if you, I mean, if you've seen some of these signal services and some of these bots and stuff, they'll make you money f probably for a short time. And then all of a sudden you start losing stuff. And that's because it hasn't, it's been pre-programmed to take into account certain criteria and to put trades in at certain criteria. But as a human, you can decide when things are not working so you can think oh well this is my criteria it's not working so you can stop and not put it in but with a bot it would just put it in regardless then you end up losing stuff so you don't want that yeah it is i need to turn my heating on it's cold 10 minutes so in 10 minutes time we will still have 10 minutes left when when the news hits we're still going to have a trade in in play so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that I was going to say something else and it's gone now. What was it? Ah, oh, that's another thing. Never, ever, ever let someone else trade your money. Never, ever do that. You need to do this yourself. What happens if, if I mean, it could be, it could well be that you've got somebody in now and they're, you know, they're trading for you and they're, they're making you lots of money. But what happens if something happens to that person? Then what are you going to do? This is why you need to be able to trade for yourself. You need to trade your own money. Don't let anybody do it for you. Um, uh, like I said, I mean, I just tell you the truth. When I first, not first started doing this, but when I started to really study this in my early days, I thought to myself, ah, oh, you know what? Maybe I could go on the trading floor. Maybe I could do some of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I went and I uh, paid for a stockbroking account um so i literally went for a course not an account of course um it was in london yeah it was in i think it was like near hangar lane or something and i paid something ridiculous i think it was 200 pound or something like that for this course for over two days right and when i got there after doing the course i can tell you that i knew more than what they were giving on the course it was ridiculous. I knew more than that. And secondly, what it made me realise is I never, ever want to become a stockbroker. Because in my opinion, stockbrokers are just glorified salesmen. What stockbrokers do is it's their job to get the client to deposit funds no matter uh, you know, no matter what. So it's in their interest to get them to deposit funds. They... They will do everything under the sun. They will, you know, they'll ring you up, talk to you nicely, this, that, the other. But, you know, maybe drop in a few things. Oh, yeah, if you don't get in, they'll, they'll give you a, a um, you know, they'll make you anxious because they're like, oh, if you don't get in now, it's, you know, you're going to miss this opportunity and blah, 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 blah. And, and that's what gets people going because when you when you apply for that stuff, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I must get in now or whatever, right? Um, if you let that affect you, it's going to affect your judgment and, you do not want to be in a position like that. Stockbrokers do not know whether the market's going up, down, left or right. Okay, this they they're not traders. Um, they're just there to get your money. Okay, that's into whatever investment bank they're working for or whichever company they're working for. Um, so after doing that and seeing that and seeing some of the practices that they were going to be using i thought nah stockbroking isn't for me i can't be a stockbroker because i'm just not cut out to be like that um you know it's i think it's nah i think it's wrong so with that in mind i thought you know what i'm just going to trade myself for myself and that is what i do so here you go and then i thought well actually i'll share what i know with everybody else but there is a condition and that is the fact you need to sign up to pocket options through my link not just go sign up directly there you need to sign up through my link because then that helps me as well um so yeah there's a benefit for me as well in that respect um but yeah um this is the kind of thing that you you, you know it's uh, i'd rather share my experiences with people um and show them what i do and how i do it 
so that they can broaden their knowledge as well and not be caught out. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so in approximately six minutes time, it's going to do one or two things. It's going to continue and well, not continue, but it's going to probably fly all the way down. And let me win one trade and make me lose the other. Okay, or that news is going to hit and it's going to push it up again and hopefully finish in between there and netting me the other trade as well. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. We're just trying to just wait and see what happens with the news. Well, like I said, I'm going to be transparent on this and I'm not going to show you just my wins. I'm showing you the process. What happens? You lose money. You make money. You lose money. You make money. You lose money. Ideally, you want to be consistent more times than you make losses. But I can tell you in January, it's not the greatest month to trade. For me personally, it's not the greatest month to trade. And you kind of, you make some, you lose some, you make some, you kind of uh, hover about, about you know, that area. That's all you do. Um, what I'm aiming to do is sooner or later, the market will turn and will start to work 100% to most of the trades um, for a short time and the idea is is to be in the market when that happens and the only way you're going to do that is by cons constantly going in daily uh, like I am um, and trying it out uh, yeah oh here we go four minutes now what would have probably been in my advantage is to go in now but I'm not going to <clears throat> because I don't want to risk the news hitting. What I can do is wait till the news hits, and once the news hits, possibly re go in if it starts to hit in an upward direction. But we're going to have to wait and see if that's going to be the case or not. Because it is getting to a point where it should bounce <coughs> upwards. <coughs> It's also coming up to 12 o'clock too. Yeah. Mm. Let's change this. Let's see what the news does for us. <sighs> is it going to send it all the way plummeting down if it sends it plummeting down then of course i'm not taking a trade if it sends it plummeting up in an upward direction then it's likely that i'm going to get ready to take a trade in that direction but we need to see Okay, 11.57. It's going to switch time frames here. Yes, it is at a bounce point. But I just need to know what the news is going to encourage it to do, really. Looks like it's pushing it down at the moment. Mm. 
Okay, news is beginning to come into play. Here we go. <clears throat> One minute. Right, should be coming into play right now. Let's see. 36 seconds. Let's see, what's it going to do? Seventeen, sixteen. Right. There we go. Let's have a look. What is the outcome? Is it going to push it up? Or is it going to push it down? We need to wait to see what's going to happen here. Does seem to be going in my direction. It's good. It's a good sign. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to stay out of this because it doesn't. Let's just see whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to take any more trades now. I was going to, I've decided against it. it's coming back down again It's a lot of momentum going up, a lot of momentum. Right, let's see how we get along. I need to turn my heating on, it is flipping freezing in here. Okay. Mm. 
and have a look and see on the other chart see where it is and what the likelihood is of it going past there yeah so remember what we're waiting on at the moment is we're expecting it to finish somewhere down here but there's no guarantee it will do that either way we've got one trade in the bag the other trade no um we do not have that that was the whole reason we took this second trade down here is because before my time was about to expire um the news was going to hit and the news has caused it to go all the way up here just now even though the news said low impact which was here it clearly didn't have a low impact it had quite an immense uh view on the market it pushed it had an impact on the market so we're just going to have to just wait and see now i was going to take another trade to go in i'm not going to now i'm taking that right down and the reason being is because the payout is now 65 percent whereas previously here i took it when it was 85 and 85 i don't go in and take trades that are less than 80 percent if i can help it it is no point because it's too much risk um and not enough reward so let's see what happens here now it could well go down here it's fine just means we've taken a, a bit of a hit today nothing major though nothing that can't be recovered <clears throat> just that it probably won't be recovered today because the markets aren't working 100 percent the way they're supposed to so this is what i'm talking about when things are not working or going your way you need to say right i'm stepping out and that's exactly what i'm planning on doing in three minutes time when this happens regardless of the outcome obviously that's going to go up but um we wanted to try and get it to a nice healthy level which is not going to happen so we're just going to have to wait come back in tomorrow perhaps <clears throat> and see what happens because i've got to go out in a little bit a little well, very shortly so let's see let's have a quick look at the forex calendar one hour 53 yeah see there's nothing happening for another couple of hours Mm -hmm. All right, almost come to the end of our trading time here. I'm going to reset this. Now, if this comes through, that will be an absolute miracle because it's too tight. It's too, literally, it's too tight. It's, this is where we need it to get to, but I just don't know if it's going to make it in time because we've only got 50 seconds left and probably should have gone in a bit lower, like down here, but we didn't know which way the market was going to go. Now, it's more than likely it will shoot up above that 
but after the time expires, which is really annoying. <laughs> but what can you do? So here we go. Ooh. Yeah, it's at a bounce point downwards now, not upwards. Very, very close, very close, but not quite there. Anyways, we are back up a little bit slightly on there. So we're back up at 761. Not too bad. We're just going to have a, before I go, I'm just uh, going to have a quick look around the market um, just to see if there's anything that's remotely in a good position, but it doesn't look great today, to be completely honest. No. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, wrong. No, 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 no. Forget that. There's nothing there. Aussie CHF. There's nothing there. Euro USD. I didn't look at Euro USD just now. No, forget that. Nothing there. Uh, sorry, euro pound. Euro pound. No, nothing there. Euro JPY. Nothing there. Uh, pound Canadian. Oh, what's that pound Canadian? That could be. Could I be going in again? We don't. Uh, can't even find the pound can I oh there's that it there nah no is the answer to that you're a Canadian no forget it 77% right guys <clears throat> so it's not it's not happening today i'm going to be busy later so i'm not going to be trading today i'm going to have a quick look to see when the news is tomorrow and tomorrow it looks like thursday right uh no impact here apparently a spring festival golden week holiday oh dear um news at nine yes news at that right nine o'clock trading tomorrow yes nine o'clock yeah we'll see what happens we're going to be having this account as, as you can see the account's gone down we lost about 50 bucks i think 50 60 bucks um nothing not major not a major loss um but a big percentage of my account so because remember the account's not i mean that's yeah i mean you haven't lost too much physically from the amount of money but uh percentage wise that is a big loss and if you carry on doing that if so if I, if I stayed on for example and continued to try to trade today bearing in mind that if we look at our closed trades we've only got one two two trades one and the rest of them didn't that's like one two three four five six seven eight nine trades in total two one seven didn't win that means the market has pretty much got the upper hand at the moment um so if you trade today and you trade reversals chances are you are going to end up burning your account out depending on your risk so this is the time to step out and say nah 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 it's not working give it a break right don't forget guys if you want to learn to do what i do and it's not just about um putting the trades in it's about the discipline when to not uh, go in i mean ideally i should have only taken three trades um but i kind of went in a bit because i saw opportunities or thought i did um and they weren't there so this is a little thing you've got to watch luckily well, i won't say luckily but calculated we've calculated um we haven't really gone very far down because at the same point in time yesterday when i started I think I was down at about 734 and then we pushed it all the way up to 812 again. So like I said, it does swing some roundabouts. 
Right. See you later.